All right, time to show you how to clip those, uh, or sew a way to clip the tails into a wig. Now, you can either position the tail in the back of the wig so that the seam actually goes to the side, because it's less likely to be seen from the back or the front that way. Position it near the back of the wig, and considering how many tails you have, you would place it thusly. You know, one tail in the center, maybe you want a tail to the side, maybe you have three tails so you would space them out evenly. And you can just whip stitch that into place. Or, you gotta make sure when you stitch though, that you don't catch the fur on the other side. Try to catch just the little bits of fabric. Thusly. Very thin. Can you see that? Another method that you can use. Now, mohair, you cut out with a knife, like an X-Acto blade. Or other craft knife. You can glue mohair strips using PVA glue. Aline's makes an acid-free tacky glue that works okay. Well, I say that I haven't actually used Aline's acid-free tacky glue. I use PVA that I get from Blix. You can't, I can't find the, um, the seam in this. That's the beauty of it. Um, because I was able to fold the, f the leather in thirds and hide the seam. Now these are removable from the wig with uh, snaps. Ta-da! Two different tails in the wig. Um, now, the snaps are kind of hard to see. They're kind of hard to sew in as well. You snow one end of the snap on the top of your fur so that the fur drapes down. And then you sew the other end of the snap. Now I sew the rounded part, the receiving end, into the wig so that the little um, part that sticks out doesn't scratch the doll head. And then you can just snap them together. And you can do that with the faux fur as well. Another option, okay, if you haven't seen a snap, here's a, a snap. I haven't tried this option before, is using a little hair clip. Now we'll just sew the hair clip to the tail. I imagine this should be pretty easy. I mean, I'm just gonna go take the needle through the middle of the hair clip and uh, I'm gonna go. Hmm. Let's think about this for a minute. You should also know that it's about 5 o'clock in the morning, and I live in an apartment, and that was really loud for all of my neighbors. <laughs> Alright, just, I just looped over it. It seemed easy enough. The hair clip may or may not slip out of the, uh, the thread, but I'm just gonna loop it, you know, give a few stitches into the fur tail, and one through the clip. And then another couple through the fur tail. This is really quick and dirty, so it's not neat in the least, and I haven't even clipped my ends from the sewing it on the machine. So, I don't know if you can see it, but there are stitches in here, stitches along here, and then it goes model today is a slightly unwilling uh, Zoom Gem Kyrie. I miss the old days at Zoom. I wish they'd bring Demo back. Dear Zoom, where's Demo? Please tell me. Please, please, please. Um, yeah, anyway. Kyrie's face up is by myself. Funny Lori. Unstrung hero BJD. Put the wig on. Hair clip. BAM! Done. What? 
you know, besides the needle being attached and all. You can attach it up here, you can attach it down here, you could do short ones, you could do curved ones, you have little cute pigtails. Do as many as you want. You can curl it into a cute little bun and sew it on there. You can make some of your own hair doodahs. And, uh, okay, come on. Use those to hold it all together. Okay, that one didn't want to work. You can make it a hot mess if you want. Sassy pants. Anyway, that is how you make removable hair extensions, ponytails, whatever you want to call them. Four wigs. Thank you and enjoy. Have fun. Play. You know, invent, create, think about all the different kinds of hair clips you could possibly use, different attachment methods. Velcro, snaps, hair clips, um, eyelets. Maybe not so that they scratch the doll's head. Sew them in. You could even hot, use hot glue if you're not very handy, but it won't look very good. Nobody needs to know, I promise. Thank you. Enjoy. Have fun.